How to edit the top link navigation bar in SharePoint 2013. There are a couple different ways to do this and I will be showing you both. So you'll notice from my SharePoint 2013 MT demo site I have a link for SharePoint 2013 MT demo. I have main site, SharePoint free trial, free SharePoint trial, SharePoint 2013 blogs, and IT. I want to clean this up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is click edit links and I want to drag free SharePoint trial under main site so that when you hover over main site it displays it as a drop down. So you're going to click your link and drag it under main site where it says drop link here, release. But I also want to do that with SharePoint 2013 blogs so I'm going to do the same procedure. Click the link, drag it underneath main site and release. Click save and now when you hover over main site you have free SharePoint trial and SharePoint 2013 blogs. Let's look at how to do this a different way. To the right of your name click the site settings gear, click site settings under look and feel, click navigation. It's important to note navigation is a feature that is available but you first must activate the SharePoint Server Publishing Infrastructure feature in the Site Collection features. Let's go back to Site Settings, Navigation. Now you'll see our global navigation and what we want to do is add a new heading. So I'm going to create a heading called Subsites. I'm going to leave the URL blank, description blank, and audience blank. I'm going to click OK. So I just created a new heading. But now I want to put IT under subsites. So let's go back. Click OK. Now you'll see I have a subsites heading. Click edit links. Drag IT under subsites. Release. Click save. And now when you hover over main site, you see the two links. And when you hover over subsites, you see the IT link. This has been a presentation by Jeff Taylor with the SharePoint at Rackspace team, and thank you for watching.